Mathematics and driving, you remember it had three parts to it, right? FSDR1, FSDR2, FSDR3. I wonder if you remember what the three parts were. We're done with the first two. Do you know what they are? Okay, yeah, very good. The first one was cost of purchasing. So what are you going to spend in order to actually just get the car and be able to drive it legally? Okay. Uh, number two, we looked at not just getting the car, but... Yeah, keeping the car. So that's operating costs, insurance, etc. You got the car, you're keeping the car. Now we want to keep you alive in the car, which is what this safety part, which is the last part of mathematics and driving, is. Okay? So blood alcohol content, incredibly relevant. Okay? Now, blood alcohol content is actually, like, what is it? It's a concentration. Um, concentration is like you've got some liquid, right? And you put some other stuff in it, and how much of the other stuff is there? Okay? So the concentration we're particularly interested in, obviously there's alcohol, right? Is the concentration of alcohol. Now we tend to measure that in grams, so like a mass of alcohol. Um, a mass of alcohol versus, well, alcohol and look at the name, what is it being compared to? How much blood there is, right? Is the concentration of alcohol in blood. Now, we would measure blood, it's a capacity, like how much blood your body has, so that's in mils, okay? Now just have a look at this for a second. I'm comparing two quantities. <coughs> one is a mass and one is a capacity. So we have a name for when we compare two quantities and they're different. It's a rate. It's a rate, very good. Ratios are when it's like we're comparing the same things, right? Like dollars and dollars or mils and mils. This is grams and mils, okay? So this is basically, this is a special rate. Okay, so when we say concentration, all concentrations are rates of some kind. Uh, I just want you to have that in your head because everything you know about rates now, you can apply to this. Okay, so when we say, uh, for example, right, uh, blood alcohol content, if I said, okay, someone is 0 0.05, okay, 0 0.05, right, what that actually means is you've got 0. Point, I might write this separately on the side here. You've got, ooh, there it is, blue. 0 0.05 grams of alcohol, right? So that's how much of this stuff is in your blood. Um, in, because like drugs are very, very powerful, right? You only need very, very small amounts of them to make very, very big effects, right? So 0 0.05 grams of alcohol, you could hardly even see that in 100 mils of blood. What's 100 mils? What does 100 mils look like? Hmm. Like a third of a glass. Okay, so like, yeah, a cup, I think a, a normal like glass is like 270 mils, I think. Okay, so that's not even half full. So you've got a fairly small amount of blood and a tiny, tiny amount of alcohol. Okay, now you can write this in a couple of other ways. Um, I will say, this is weird, this is confusing. But because you're doing 0 0.05 and it's out of 100 mils of blood, right? Sometimes you will see this as blood alcohol content of 0.05%. Percent means out of 100, right? They mean this 100, okay? They don't mean, like if I said to you, okay, 5%, put that into your calculator, that's 0 0.05. But here, in this case, these actually mean exactly the same thing. That's a bit weird, but I want you to see, like, it doesn't take actually much alcohol to kill someone. So you're always going to have very, very small numbers. That certainly doesn't mean a blood, a blood alcohol content of like five or something like that. You'd be long dead, okay? So, question. Why is it alcohol measured in grams? That's yeah. a good question. Yeah, okay. So, um, that's a really interesting question. When we think about, um, I'm going to show you some pictures in a second. When we think about how we consume alcohol, we consume alcohol in liquid form, generally speaking, right? But what alcohol is, is a particular kind of molecule. It's a substance, right? You can, you can distill it out, it can be dry, all that kind of thing. And so even though we consume it in mils and liters, well, hopefully not liters, um, in, in a capacity thing, right? The actual thing that's changing you, that's having an effect on you, is this substance which is measured out in grams. I think part of it as well is to avoid confusion, as you'll see in a minute, between how much you're drinking versus how much alcohol is actually being consumed. Okay, because they're quite different things depending on what you're drinking. Okay. So, 
you got a whole bunch of numbers here. By the way, 0 0.05 is not accidental, that number. But I want you to, if you have another color with you, um, get that out, even if it's just a highlighter. And there's a single number that I really want you to have right at the top of your page in big, big letters and um, in a different color. And that number is... Zero. Zero. Okay, what? that is the most important number in this whole <laughs> lesson. Okay, because we can kind of get carried away. I'm going to calculate all kinds of things for you. But zero is important. Does anyone know why zero is important in this topic? For L and P platers, that's your blood alcohol limit, right? And you guys are going to be L and P platers for a long time to go, right? So the most important, like my moral responsibility, is to make sure you get that number, okay? And I should point out, um, one of the tricky things with this is there's only really one, well, practically speaking, there's only one way to measure accurately what someone's blood alcohol content is. Does anyone know what it is? Breathalyzer. Uh, breathalyzer, that's right. Obviously, you can, do a, you can do a blood test, but um, they're going to take that and then they're going to send it off to, you know, Douglas Hanley or whatever. And a day later, you're like, oh, okay, I was 0.06. It's not a good way to go. A breathalyzer is the only accurate way. You know that uh, random breath testing show? Yeah, um, I watched it the other day, and there was this lady they pulled over, and they're like, "Have you had any alcohol?" And she's like, "No." no. <laughs> I swear. About and yeah. the thing came back, and she had like four point two or something. Oh. So I think that would be zero point four two. Yeah, I think she'd be dead if it was. She was like, she'd be dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Now, okay, so let's have a look at this for a second. Zero point four. Even though. I'm a full license driver, right? I'm not an L or a P or a P. So my limit is 0.05. But if I'm going to go somewhere and then drive home, for me, that's my limit. Now here's why. Remember I said to you, there's only one accurate way to measure someone's blood alcohol content, and that's where the breath lies are, okay? You can make estimates. You can make estimates. I'm going to talk about all the maths of how to make that estimate. But that's all it is. It's just an estimate, okay? You can never say, oh, I'm pretty close to 0.05. I'm sure I'll be all right to drive, okay? That's how people get in accidents, okay? So this is the important number I want you to get. Now, just while we're in the context, the reason why I pulled the 0.05 is because it's the legal limit of a full license driver. Have a look at the middle one though. You might not be familiar with that number. This number is lower. That means there's a lower threshold for how much alcohol you can take. Why is this number lower? Who is it referring to? Truck drivers? People with big responsibilities because they have vehicles containing, say, like maybe a tanker or something like I don't that. Think a tank. That they can. Well, the, here's the thing, though. If you if you have a a good night out on Sunday night and you have to turn up to work on Monday morning, is that alcohol still going to be in your system yeah. or yeah. not? Yeah. The answer is yeah. You better believe it is, and that's why we have a legal limit. Okay. Yeah. Um, the highest record is ever. Um, Back was 0 0.914 that did not result in death. <laughs> um, it just, it just makes literally makes my head hurt to think about it. <laughs> yeah, don't don't even go there. Okay. Um, so like I said, 0 0.02, 0 0.05. By the way, you should just um, make a note for yourself to Google this page. Um, I just found it by searching New South Wales blood alcohol limit, and this will be like the first or second. I think it's even a highlighted result because there's lots of really really helpful practical information when you go and have a look down here, um, please go and look at it. Just like I told you about like fuel prices and like that's just a practical thing you need to know, you need to know this as well.